A storm over artistic freedom and censorship has erupted in Brazil after an art exhibition at a multinational bank's cultural center was cancelled following a campaign by right-wing protesters. The controversy broke out when the Queer Mishu Queer Museum exhibition at Santander Bank's cultural center in Porto Alegre was abruptly closed on Sunday, a month ahead of schedule. Supported by evangelical Christians, protesters from the Free Brazil movement accused the exhibition, which included 263 works from Brazilian greats such as Candida Portinari and Elysia Clark, of promoting blasphemy, pedophilia and bestiality, charges its curator vigorously denied. They are passing the limits of tolerance and we are giving them a response, said Silas Malafia, a leading evangelical pastor. Brazil's artistic community has attacked the protest as dangerous censorship in a country that lived through 21 years of military dictatorship. It is an exhibition that deals with issues of identity, the curator Gaudencio Fidelis told The Guardian. This is a frightening moment in Brazilian life. The exhibition had been open almost a month when protesters from the Free Brazil movement, a group of free market liberals known for organizing street demonstrations calling for the impeachment of leftist President Dilma Rousseff began picketing its doors. A video by protesters that has been watched over a million times described one of the works, one of two paintings by artist be a lead from a series called Kriyanka Vyata, or Gay Children, as practically child prostitution. The children are fully clothed in the painting and the accusation that it promotes pedophilia is unfounded, Fidela said. Work is about bullying, about prejudice, he said. Fidela said that a painting which protesters said depicted an act of bestiality was actually a work about colonialism. Another work by Fernando Barra called Crossing Jesus Christ Goddess Shiva was also accused of being blasphemous by the protesters. Fidelis found out the exhibition had been cancelled when Santander published a notice on its Facebook page on Sunday. We sincerely apologize to anyone who felt offended by any work that was part of the exhibition, the bank said.